This is a story called The Little Monsters, chapter 138. Grumpy gets his heart broken on Valentine's Day, making him grumpier than ever. It's only just over a week until Valentine's Day and a new girl has just started at the kids' school and she's in their class. Right from the start, Grumpy was smitten with her, but at first she doesn't want to know him. One day, Grumpy went over to her in the school playground and said, Esme, please will you be my girlfriend? No, I won't, answered, answered Esme. But why? asked Grumpy. Because I don't know you and I don't want to be anyone's girlfriend, answered Esme. Oh, but I really like you and I want you to be my girlfriend, said Grumpy. Well, I don't want to be your girlfriend, so please go away and leave me alone, said Esme. However, Grumpy wouldn't go away. He just constantly followed her around and kept asking her to be his girlfriend. Go away and leave me alone, Grumpy. I don't want to be your girlfriend or your friend ever, said Esme. Then Kicker said, Come on, Grumpy, she doesn't want to be your girlfriend. I'm sure you'll find another girl who wants to be your girlfriend. But I don't want another girl to be my girlfriend. I only want Esme, said Grumpy, crying, wah, 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 wah. Oh, I know, Grumpy, but you can't have her because she doesn't want to be your girlfriend, said Kicker. I know, but I love her, cried Grumpy, wah, wah, wah. Oh, stop blubbering, Grumpy, and let's go and join the others. I mean, after all, it's not the end of the world, laughed Kicker. It's the end of the world to me, Kicker. And stop laughing at me, said Grumpy. Oh, stop being grumpy and let's join the others for a game of footy, you miserable sod, said Kicker. My name's Grumpy. It's my job to be grumpy. That's why you all gave me the nickname Grumpy, said Grumpy. Oh, shut up before I kick you, said Kicker laughing. Don't you dare, I'll kick you back twice as hard, laughed Grumpy. Kicker kicked him really hard by accident. Ouch, that hurt, Kicker, said Grumpy. I'm so, so sorry, Grumpy. I didn't mean to kick you so hard. Are you okay? said Kicker. Oh, I'm okay, but you're falling now, Kicker, said Grumpy. Then they started play fighting, but the teacher thought that they were proper fighting and came over to split them up. Oh, you two, stop fighting now, said Mr. Pease. It's okay, Mr. Pease, we were just playing, said Kicker. Yeah, I can see that now. I just didn't realise at first. Sorry, guys, said Mr. Pease. It's okay, sir, said Grumpy. Then they went and joined the rest of the gang and played football until the end of playtime. Later that day, during lunchtime, Grumpy went over to Esme and said, Esme, please be my girlfriend. I love you. I don't want to and I don't love you, said Esme. Well, can we be friends then, asked Grumpy. OK, we can be friends, but no more than that, Grumpy, said Esme. Grumpy and Esme became friends, but what Grumpy didn't realise is that Esme was only pretending to be his friend. She was being bullied by the Frighteners gang. She was being told to pretend to be his friend by them. All that day they hung around together, but the next day Esme wasn't there. Grumpy went over to her older brother, Thomas, and said, Thomas, where's Esme? She's poorly, Grumpy. Why, what's it got to do with you, said Thomas. She's my friend and I was worried about her, said Grumpy, said Grump, answered Grumpy. All right, I didn't know you were friends, said Thomas. Can I go and see her, please, asked Grumpy. Yeah, of course. You can come with me after school, answered Thomas. After school, Grumpy went with Thomas to his house and when he got there, Esme said, What are you doing here, Grumpy? 
I wanted to make sure that you were okay because Thomas said that you were poorly, answered Grumpy. I'm okay, I just got a tummy bug, said Esme. Okay, will you be at school tomorrow, answered Grumpy. No, because tomorrow's Saturday, Grumpy, but I'll be in on Monday, said Esme. Well, where off I skating tomorrow if you and Thomas want to come, said Grumpy. Okay, thanks Grumpy, said Esme. Yeah, thanks Grumpy, said Thomas. The next day they all met up and went ice skating. And Esme said to Grumpy, Grumpy, I've changed my mind. I'd like to be your girlfriend if you still want me to be. Of course I do, said Grumpy. What none of them realised is that the Frighteners gang were there and they were listening in on their conversation. James grabbed Esme and said, Why did you tell Grumpy that you'd be his girlfriend? Because I really like him, that's why, answered Esme. Then James grabbed, Esme, grabbed Esme's arm and said, You're my girlfriend from now on and so you better dump him or there'll be trouble. No, I won't, said Esme. Before James could do or say anything else for Esme, she skated off and joined Thomas and the gang. Esme, Thomas and the gang spent the whole weekend together and they all really enjoyed themselves. On Monday at school, James grabbed Esme and he said to her, You're my girlfriend, not grumpy. If you don't dump him, then I will hurt you. I'm not your girlfriend, James, so leave me alone, said Esme. James punched her hard in the tummy, making her cry, and then he said, You'll do as I say, or I'll hurt you again, and I'll hurt Grumpy. I'm telling on you, James, said Esme. Then I'll hurt you even more. Now go and tell Grumpy that you're dumping him, said James. Esme went over to Grumpy and said, Grumpy, I'm sorry, but I can't be your girlfriend anymore. Please don't come after me. Why, what have I done? asked Grumpy. Just leave me alone and stay away from me, please, said Esme. But Esme, it's Valentine's Day and I bought you a card in a present because you're my Valentine, said Grumpy. I'm not your Valentine, Grumpy, and I don't want your card and present. So please stay away from me and leave me alone, said Esme. Then she walked away, leaving poor Grumpy in floods of tears. Grumpy, what's happened? asked Grumpy. Esme's just dumped me. I bought her the card and the present for Valentine's Day because she's my Valentine, said Grumpy. Right, I'm going to find out what, why she's hurt my friend, said Bumpy. Then Stumpy saw James pulling poor Esme about and trying to kiss her and he said, Bumpy, don't bother, look who's got hold of her. Oh no, I don't believe it. We have to do something. Mr. Peace is over there, let's go and tell him. We can't approach James, it's not safe, said Bumpy. They all went to Mr. Peace and told him what they'd seen. However, Grumpy had gone off somewhere in a huge grump. The gang went over to him when they left Mr. Peace and Bumpy said, Grumpy, Esme's been bullied by James from the Frightness gang. And that's why she's been so mean to you. Then Esme came over in floods of tears and said to Grumpy, Grumpy, I'm so sorry I hurt you. James made me do it. He said that if I didn't dump you, he'd hurt me even more and he'd hurt you. You broke my heart, Esme, but now I know why I forgive you, said Grumpy. Please can we still be girlfriend and boyfriend, Grumpy? I do really like you, said Esme. I don't think so, Esme, said Grumpy, being grumpier than ever. Stop being grumpy, Grumpy. I have apologised. I really didn't mean to hurt you. Honest, I didn't. I do really like you, said Esme, crying. I'm sorry, Esme. I didn't mean to be so grumpy, but you hurt me, said Grumpy. I've explained about that, said Esme. 
Oh well, okay, we can get back together, said Grumpy. They both hugged and then gave each other a Valentine's card and present. As they got Grumpy the Lee Trino's t-shirt that he wanted and a t-shirt that said I love you. Grumpy got his, got his mate a teddy that said I love you on it, a red rose and a huge box of chocolates. After that they were inseparable. James was came by Mrs Scott and he apologised to Grumpy and Esme and he never bothered them again. End of chapter 138 Hope you like it guys. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, please feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, please feel free to like, share, come in and to go to my youtube channel and subscribe thanks for watching guys love yous bye